Hello and welcome in this tutorial Avid Studio for iPad. So I've installed Avid Studio on my iPad. I will launch it. The first time you will launch it, you will be asked if you would like to authorize the localization. This is to have access to your album, otherwise you won't have access to your album, so you are obliged to do so. Then you have a library synchronization, which will uh, bring into Avid Studio uh, the pictures, video, and so on. You can also force it in the configuration here. You ask to update the library. So you will see it takes the montage, effects, pictures, and so on. This should be done every time you add or you remove a media into one of your album. So it will be fast if you don't have a lot of video, otherwise it may take some time. This is the uh, welcome screen where you have here all your movie or your projects, sorry. So I will start to create a new one. Demo Avid Studio. Okay. Here is how it looks like. So on the left you have access to movie, pictures, sounds, effects, uh, montage, title, and you can also with this red button uh, shoot uh, pictures or movie with your iPad. On the right you have access to the media and here you have possibility to drop your pictures and movie and finally the timeline. So in your movie you have access to events, I have one events, albums where you have the latest importation, film and camera roll. Here I have my pictures, all my pictures, also events albums and faces. If I choose album, I have one album here with some pictures. I have the sounds here by artist, album, playlist, effects, transition, two transition so far, montage and title. Motion title and standard title. Okay, let's start. I will take first of all a picture. So I will choose one picture, I just put it here, drop it here, another one here. If I made a mistake and I would like to exchange, it's very rapid, you just move them, okay, very fast. Now I will add a title, let's take this one first, I will change the text here. My, I will switch to English. My first movie. I can do like this to move the title, to make it bigger. I double click, I can access the color. Okay, not so good. Okay, much better. And also the size, dimension. Okay? Well, uh, now that I've put a title, I will show you that with a picture, if I choose the picture here, I can do a pan and zoom. So this is the ending position here and the beginning. Okay, this is for the pan and zoom. Now I will add a music to a playlist. For example, I will choose, let's say, this one. I will add the sound on one of the three timeline here. I can adjust the beginning if I wish. Okay, I can move it. I can cut it as well. Okay. If I want to see the whole movie, I just double click on it. Now I see everything. I can cut the 
sound perfect well now I will add a transition in between in the title and the picture once again I can adjust the duration of the transition now I would like to add a montage let's take this one okay for this montage I will add one of the picture here on top of the montage one can pre preview it so of course you need a rendering to have something which is fluid but this is an overview of what can be done I will take another one with multiple picture let's take this one here I have four pictures sorry so here the orange line is a line uh, of the current play uh, play position so I will take uh, this picture I will put it in number two now I will put a movie in number one okay and I will put another movie in number four and finally a picture in number three I can also hold down here the picture and I can choose which one I would like to put it okay now I will add a title directly on a movie or a picture so I just put it here and then you have the title which is on top of the picture my title okay finally I will add another movie we show you something you can for example here I will cut the movie and I would like to keep the sound so I will cut it here again and in this part I would like to add a picture but by keeping the sound so I will add let's say a picture a picture here okay I will not replace it but I will do a picture in picture because you see here I can do I can adjust it to remove the black border now I can do a picture in picture but what I would like to do is just to add my picture in full okay full dimension now that's better because I keep the movie sound I have the picture but I still have the sound behind okay so that's very interesting you can do plenty of uh, of tricks like this so picture in picture I show you you can also replace part of the video I can replace it for a movie you have the possibility if I put a movie here you have the possibility to replace the movie by keeping the same duration or uh, keeping um, sorry to use the new duration or to keep the existing duration if I want to cut movie there are two movie here I will select this one I will double click here I have the possibility to choose uh, for the left clip how many frames I would like to remove on the left and for the right it's the same I will be able to choose how many frames I will remove on the right if I click at the middle here I can select to remove or add in both parts okay it's done to remove part of the movie it's very simple you just take it all down and you remove it and you will get rid of part of the clip okay and when it's done you can have a look to what it look like you can preview it full screen of course to have something which is smooth you need to do a rendering
Here it is. Uh, well, this button is for making the rendering. Well, I forget to show you something. You have here the parameters where you can set the duration of the pictures, of the title, of the transition. You can also update the media library. You also have here Avid Studio for iPad manual. So, very clear explanation with some pictures which explain you how you can do it. And to export a video, you have several options. Video file, which will be stored on your iPad and then you can export it. Email, Facebook, YouTube and Avid Studio. It's very interesting, very Avid Studio for computer. It means that you can do a single file and then you can export it using iTunes. And uh, you will be able to import it into Avid Studio using uh, importation tool which is on uh, Avid website and this uh, single file will extract like a zip file and it includes all media, uh, your project as well and you will be able to finish your um, project directly in Avid Studio. Well, I think that we see quite everything. I hope that you enjoy this tutorial. Sorry for my English and the pronunciation. I hope that you understood what I mean. <laughs> Have a nice day. Bye-bye.